Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here again. So today I'm going to be doing a live commentary on tanking as a druid. So I just want to show you my gear before we start because this gear is very, very bad. In comparison to what you might have right now, um, I guess if you're leveling up, you will have uh, Mr. Pandaria gear. Um, you'll have greens, blues, etc. This is all epic gear. Um, even though it's epic, the stats still are that great. Um, so I'm very undergeared in terms of Mr. Pandaria, so keep that in mind as we are going through this tank. So, the good thing about being a tank is I can just instantly join up and hey presto, dungeon time. So, because I'm not level 90, there were some things that I won't do. I won't push my group as far as I would normally. Uh, one, because I'm undergeared myself, I don't feel that confident um, to go that extra mile uh, with the druid. Because, you know, I don't really play the Druid that often. I've been playing it for about two days, um, tanked about five dungeons tall. Um, a lot of the time I've been playing is a lot of fear of crafting and whatnot. So, you know, I need to I need to be careful. Um, so I'm going to buff up. I'm going to go into bear form. I'm going to pop some rage and then I'm going to go. So I'm going to get some damage on here. I'm going to mangle this guy, pull back. Get some mauls going. Get a dodge up because the healer seems AFK. Gonna pop back skin. Get these up. And healer is here now, so that's fine. Get a mangle in there. Focus on this guy now because the other one is almost dead. And get some lacerates up. Just just get them lacerates. Vengeance is high. Doing a lot more damage. Not too bothered with threat. I'm good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna charge this guy and I'm gonna AoE him. I'm going to pop my dodge straight away because I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. So I'm going to basically cycle now through uh, my cleaves, my mangles, my mauls. And I know the healer's going to just spam heal me because these can actually do a lot of damage. going to pop my dodge again. Keep these guys up. Do some thrash. Do a maul. Uh, do another maul. And I'm getting pounded around, but I I'm okay. And they're almost dead, so I'm going to head off. Now, this next part can be a little bit tricky, depending on how many mobs you actually want to pull. Um, I normally pull them in two separate parts. I pull this first pack here, and then after that, I will pull quite a few different mobs. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to basically get these with a thrash, and then obviously a swipe. I'm going to pop my heal. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually die if I don't get healed. So I'm going to pop some abilities to keep myself alive. And it, it seems that the healer is actually away. So I had to pop a lot of cooldowns there just to keep myself alive. The healer must have had the quest. So therefore, he wasn't able to follow me. Um, was that my fault or was that the healer's fault? Eh, I'd say a bit of a both fault, really. Um, I did waste a lot of cooldowns, which isn't necessarily a good thing. But the next boss doesn't hit particularly hard anyways. So I'm not too bothered about that. I'm going to get a big mangle on this guy. And then I'm actually going to hit these. I'm going to charge in here. And I'm actually going to hit these. I'm going to hit these again. I'm going to pop my dodge. Get some more damage here. And I'm going to face him and basically go back. This is going to allow me to dodge and whatnot. So I'm going to use my dodge again. I'm going to actually try pull these into barrels using all my abilities here and hopefully that will hit them. Yep, there we go. So that's not too bad. Keep facing them, do my dodge, get some aggro on these guys. They're almost dead. We've got 35 out of 40, which isn't too bad. I do have aggro on some of them, but that's fine. I do now. And that guy just needs to run that barrel into the monkeys instead of running into another barrel. DPS logic. So that guy is going to finish him off, which is great. We hit 40. We've got full rage. So as soon as this guy comes down, we're going to click him. Because there's a lot of monkeys around, I might just actually tab to one of them. I'm going to get mangles, lacerate, swipe, lacerate, mangle. I'm going to use my dodge, lacerate, swipe. And then I'm going to move out of that. And let him just pound on the floor. Sometimes this bugs out. As you can see, you can't exactly see the animation, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to basically change from um, lacerating to uh, mangle. And of course keep fresh up as well. I'm going to fairy fire again. 
and it's just a little bit of extra, you know, a little bit of extra threat if I need it. I've got full rage, so I'm going to use my dodge. Kind of a bad time to use it there, considering the boss isn't actually hitting me right now. So I'm going to use it again. I got five seconds on my dodge, which is fine. I'm going to lacerate, keep that up. I'm going to move to the right this time because the boss is kind of is weird in the way he actually faces. So now I'm actually facing him back to the DPS. Um, it's just a little bit weird. I'm going to use my dodge again. I'm taking a little bit of damage, consecutive, you know, hit. So I'm going to basically use my dodge. I'm going to use my thrash, lacerate, mangle, of course, on cooldown. It does a lot of damage. Do some thrash, keep that weak and blows up. I've got a mangle proc, gonna use that. I'm gonna use my dodge again because I do have enough rage. Gonna dodge that. Gonna use maul just for that extra bit of rage. And someone left, which is fine. I'm gonna press I because it's my duty. Uh, because I am the leader. I'm gonna get someone else in. And there we go. He might not be able to join. Who knows? I've got a little UI error there. As you can see, the boss does bug out a little bit. I'm gonna use my um, dodge again. Keep that up. Gonna my well, the boss is dead now. So I don't, I don't think my lacerate actually fell off there, which is good. Uh, so the healer seems to be with me. I'm just going to watch him and see if he actually loots this book. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just go out and do a lot of damage. and just basically aggro these as I go past. Going to run around back into him. Get that. Just so the healer doesn't actually take damage. And of course he's used this thing again, which is awesome. I like this healer. He's actually helping me out as I'm helping him out. And I'm just going to wait for everyone now because everyone seems a little bit behind, which is okay. Now you've got to be careful of these ones with the bombs. So I'm going to use my cooldown now. I'm going to use my dodge and my damage reduction. And I'm just going to get this thrash going. Um, hopefully I'm going to get stunned because of the bombing targets, but that's fine. Um, everyone should gather up on me. Uh, it's difficult to aggro so many mobs. The boss is out, so I need to just basically try aggro the boss. I'm going to taunt him straight away, get a big old mangle crit in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my Might of the Earth Sock. I'm just going to get these mobs down with the AoE. You're going to spam AoE, spam AoE, spam AoE. And hopefully it'll get these down. So he's dead. So now I'm going to start spamming ma uh, excuse me, mangle. And I did pop a dodge because I'm going to stay in with the boss. Um, now the good thing about the um, Son of Ursoc is I can spam my mangle like infinite. It's, it's insane. It's really, really cool. So I'm going to aggro these mobs up. I'm just going to wait till they all gather up before I use my AoE. I don't really want to um, use it on, you know, four mobs. I want to use it on as many as possible. So all I need to do is keep aggro on them, which is fine. As soon as I get aggro, the DPS can use the items in to actually get them down. I'm going to pop Berserk and I'm actually going to do the mole spam, uh, not mole, sorry, mangle spam, and this will help. Now, at the minute, I don't have lacerates up, which is fine. You don't want to be using lacerates when you've just popped berserk because you want to spam that mangle as much as humanly possible. So I'm going to put um, verify on the boss now. Um, the healer is taking a lot of damage. That's not from me. That's just for his stupidity of standing in the boss. I'm going to keep mangle up. I'm going to use frash, and I'm going to try dodge that, and then I'm going to use swipe again. There we go. I'm going to use my thrash and then swipe. A good thing about swipe and thrash is you can use it on the boss and it will hit targets behind you, which is awesome. So I'm going to use my dodge. I'm going to pop my bat skin just to make it a little bit easier for the healer. I'm going to use thrash. Of course, I'm going to keep lacerates back up now. I'm going to get them up mangle. I'm going to taunt him so he actually stays in kind of one place for as long as possible. And I'm going to get the mangle up. I'm going to follow the boss and then I'm going to move back. And then he will run back to me. There we go. So I'm going to get Mangle up. Um, keep my Lacerate up, of course. Use Frash. And we're going to get some more ads now. I'm not going to worry about the ads too much because the boss is almost dead. And there we go. He is down now. There we go. So that's perfect. So we can move on now. So the healer's mana is pretty great. <laughs> Play items always drop in. Um, so we're basically on this add here, just a normal add, just go tank him, I'm going to charge in, and I have actually changed, if you remember in my um, previous video, I actually had fear line swiftness, I changed it for the charge, just because it's quite cool, so the wallet does have a pet out which is taunting, which is um, somewhat annoying, but there's not much you can do about it, if you can ask him to turn it off, or he won't, um, <clears throat> 
when you're a tank and a pet is taunt, um, well, at least tanking, don't feel bad about yourself. Don't think, oh, I'm not keeping aggro from a pet. Pets have a taunt and you cannot, you cannot get aggro from a mob that has taunt on. It's impossible because they're just constantly taunting, which is somewhat annoying, but that's the way it is. So don't feel bad, just let it die, don't taunt it back, let the pet die, and then the, the actual DPS who has the pet out will, you know, learn that, you know, I shouldn't really have my pet out because it's just dying all the time. Um, and hopefully they will make that connection. Um, I'm going to silence this mob. Sometimes they don't though, I mean it's really difficult, like here again, he's, he's just taunting that, so I'm going to move on actually because it's almost dead, the pet can tank that quite easily. And I'm just going to go on and get some aggro on the next one, so I'm going to pop my um, my speed boost here, which is, I can't remember what it's called, uh, Stampeding Raw. It's going to get me going up here to get aggro on these, I'm going to uh, verify one of them, I'm going to tag the next one and do a big old crit, I'm going to go to the next one because I know the rogue is actually going onto that. So I'm going to get some, um, you know, lacerates up, mangle. I'm not going to bother about this guy because he's not actually taking threat, which is fine. If we do need to put some aggro on him, I can just use maul, which is good enough. So now I'm going to actually switch because he is going to be taking damage. I'm going to move him out of that AOE because it does actually silence you. And I'm going to use my claw. And then I'm going to actually run in here now and activate the boss. Why? Because it takes about 4 or 5 seconds for this to activate. The ads will die in that time, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to say to my group, follow me when the small ads spawn, please. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge in here. I'm going to taunt that. I'm going to actually get this guy straight away because I'm, you've got to keep an eye on the melee DPS. They will um, actually go on mobs and they will take aggro off you. So you've got to really go there and get aggro. Like this is where I lost aggro. <clears throat> I'm going to pop my dodge, and this guy has lost threat because it's off an imp. <clears throat> so I'm going to die, so I need to pop some cooldowns right here. I'm going to pop a heal. Um, hopefully I won't die. I'm just looking at my uh, cooldowns now, which one to pop, which would help me survive. So I pop my heal, which is fine. I'm going to use this to knock him back. And I'm going to go over here. And hopefully everyone will listen and actually follow me. Um, the reason we do this is because we can actually combine all the ads up. Hopefully the shaman will listen and get here, which it looks like he has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, I'm going to aggro one of these, I'm going to run back, and then they will all come to me, which is perfect. I'm not going to start aggroing them straight away. Right now is the time I aggro them because they're all kind of here. If I lose aggro off one of them, it's fine. They're all these small ads. It doesn't really make a difference. As you can see, one of the pets is actually AoE and doing a lot of damage. Uh, I'm not too bothered. They're actually just targeting each other now. That's why the threat has changed, so that's cool. Um, and just keep the AoE damage up. That's all you need to do, really. Um, I'm not popping any cooldowns. It's not really needed. These are going down extremely fast. I'm not using Mangle. So just AoE damage is, is fine. And then the first one here, because we're going to have four adds, I'm going to pop my Berserk. And I'm going to start actually use off with my um, AoE first. And then pop Berserk. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my AoE, I'm going to pop Berserk, I'm going to pop my cooldowns and then I'm basically going to switch targets and just spam my Berserk, I'm going to spam some Maul as well, I'm going to use a cooldown, I'm actually going to click that because it's a lot faster and then as you can see here I'm using Berserk and I'm using my AoE just to get enough aggro on them because I know I've got to fight for aggro because not the same person isn't going to attack the same as someone else because it's not a boss. So you've got to really determine which ads are going to take the most damage and just go from there. Now I am doing something bad which is standing in the um, the silence which I should move out. But I'm talking at the minute so I am a little bit distracted. If you're doing this I doubt you'd be talking much. Uh, you'd be concentrating so it's not too bad. And then the boss is going to spawn. Um, so when the boss spawns, I'm going to use um, the Incarnation Son of Urzok. The reason for that is because I can spam Mangle for 30 seconds, which is... Uh, it's insane. So I'm going to taunt the boss and then just Mangle spam. I'm not going to worry about Lacerates at this point. I want to spam Mangle as much as possible. It's got increased damage. It does insane amounts of damage. And just overall, it's really, really good to spam that. It's a lot of damage overall. So you could combine this with Berserk, and Berserk will of course um, give you, it's up for what, 10 seconds? So you've got 40 seconds of spamming Mangle, I mean that is insane. So the ads have spawned, you can do this either two ways, um, either taunt and kill the ads, or you can just stand in front of them, 
and absorb the healing, which is cool. So my in my son of uh, Zok has actually run out now. So I'm going to be putting up lacerates. I'm going to put up swipe, and then I'm going to basic well fresh rather, and then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to grab a bubble. I'm going to grab the one furthest away from me, just so any DPS can get it because they always slack. Trust me. Uh, I'm going to get fresh up again. I'm going to do a swipe. I'm going to put up uh, my dodge, which isn't really needed at this stage. I am full HP, so. I normally put up a dodge when I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage, um, you know, because we are basically there to soak up a lot of the damage, so if we're taking a bit of damage that's fine like this, this is fine, no need to put dodge up right now, um, I can put it up now because I'm dropping a little bit low, so hopefully I will dodge that attack and of course the um, healer will get me up, so I'm going to get my lacerates back on, they did drop unfortunately. So it's not something you want to happen, but sometimes it will happen. Your lacerates will fall off. It's very difficult to actually track them all the way up here. You want something in the middle to track them, which I'm working on making. Um, but there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to pop a cooldown. I mean, why not? Why not pop a cooldown? So I'm going to use Bear Hug. It's immune to stun, but I think it still does damage. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. So that's okay. So I'm going to kill the boss. I'm not going to bother getting um, a bubble. And there we go. So let's have a look at loot wise. So that's a that's a big upgrade. So I'm gonna need that, but unfortunately we do have a rogue which might need it also, but he actually got it. So I won that, which is perfect. So I put on my first upgrade, which is um, fantastic, and extremely happy. So just from that one piece of gear, I gained about 10k HP, which is pretty amazing actually. I do have um, low HP for a druid tank right now because if you look at the other guys 140 206 um 137 so i am a little bit low on hp but i am getting there so my last words for this video is um if, if you if you wanting to tank as any class don't be afraid to tank the only way you will learn to tank as as a as a class or any class is to actually go into a dungeon and do it um just be yourself, be a good tank, and don't be afraid. If you make mistakes, that's fine. That's why we have taunt. You, no one's always going to keep 100% fret on the targets 100% of the time. It's impossible, especially when there's multiple ads, because you only, especially if a, from a druid standpoint, you only have certain abilities that only hit up to certain amount of targets. You know, we do, however, you know, have our AOE abilities here, which don't cause enough threat to keep aggro from someone who is going all out. Like the rogue, he had pretty good DPS, he was pulling threat um, quite often. And so we had to ch kind of change our perspective of actually using our mangle on the mob he was attacking and just use something um, a little bit less, um, ag well, yeah, aggro intensive. Something like, of course, uh, fairy fire, a taunt, maybe a swipe, um, a maul. You know, something that isn't massive aggro, but is something just so we keep threatening him so the healer doesn't pull aggro or someone like the rogue if he's combat obviously has um, Blade Flurry, so he's not actually taking aggro from the other mob. So we do have to tank both of them, but we just focus our main target, which is something you will learn over time. You'll, you'll, you'll learn which is the right target to actually be focusing all of your efforts on, and which targets can just take a back seat because no one is attacking them. Um, however, if you see someone attacking them, you can generally see from the spells and stuff like that, if the mob is actually starting to lose HP, you will have to switch, and that's where um, switch target is come, well, well, will come in handy. Basically, you tab and you will use your maul and mangle and whatever, and then you'll tab again and use that rotation and then tab again, and you basically just cycle through the mobs, getting some aggro on them, so when that first mob that you aggro does die, you have a good amount of aggro for the next mob, so you're not actually fighting for aggro again. So keep that in mind, guys. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will catch you next time. Peace.